Every bride dreams of the perfect wedding day. But for a $5,000 budget boost, would she hand over the planning to her groom? If she's ready and willing to throw the dice, then it's I do. But at what price? So have you ever tried walking in one of these dresses? I'm not going to be doing the walking, so... Yeah, exactly. I'm thinking about Margarita here, which you seem to not be thinking about at all. I'm thinking she wants a beautiful wedding like this. This is hours no, no, upon no. hours upon hours We can of do it work. ourselves. What? Dude, yeah? What? Heidi's going to help. Gia's <gasps> going to help. We always have to remember your budget and you how and your much budget, money you have. Heidi. It's your budget. Why yeah, do you keep but saying... you keep reminding me about it. <laughs> it's a grand entrance. It's not called a but, minor entrance, OK? Yeah, but, or under budget entrance. It's called a grand entrance. I'll spend grand if I have to. That... Weddings are a groom who goes overboard. Weddings are a bride whose wishes are ignored. Weddings are costs that neither can afford. Meet newlyweds Lucas and Margarita. For an extra $5,000, Margarita is handing over all responsibility to Lucas to plan their wedding. She's hoping this infusion will offset Lucas's desire to overspend. But it just may give him the excuse he needs to go off the rails with his many ideas. My name is Luke. I'm a 29-year-old IT consultant. I met Margarita, an urban planning student, back when we worked together at a car dealership. This is the story of how I called all the shots planning our wedding. People may think I'm crazy for letting Luke plan the entire wedding, but I have no time and we have no money, and the $5,000 budget boost is going to make the wedding happen. The reason I want to plan the wedding on my own is because I know how it should look, I know how it should feel. I've been to lots of weddings and I'm sure I could do it better than those other people have done it. Plus, the $5,000 towards my budget, it will help a lot. Our wedding day was awesome. There were a few zigs and a few zags. There were a lot more zags than zigs. I hope a zag is a good thing. Our groom Lucas found out that planning a wedding was filled with unexpected twists and turns. But could he navigate the treacherously bumpy road to please his bride? Planning our wedding without Margarita's input was not easy, especially in areas I knew nothing about. I mean, luckily I had Heidi there to help me out and steer me in the right direction. Meet wedding planner Heidi Allen. With her 10 years of experience, she hopes to guide groom Lucas along the way, helping him turn his vision into reality while keeping his costs in check. My role as a wedding planner is to help the groom take his grand ideas and match them with his budget to pull off a spectacular wedding. Okay, guys, we're here to plan your wedding today. And of course, for a $5,000 budget boost, Margarita, you have agreed to surrender all control of the wedding and hand over all the reins to Lucas. He's going to plan the entire wedding. What? Tell me that again? Yes, yes he is. You've agreed to do this. I know. Yeah. Okay, but I need to know, why? Why have you chosen to do this? Because I'm working full time and going to school full time. So with those two commitments, I the wedding sleep. wasn't gonna fit into my time schedule. Plus, she knows I'll probably do a better job. <laughs> I think you call this a momentary lapse of judgment. I don't know what, what I got myself into, but... I'll do a fantastic job, Heidi. Okay, so I, of course, have to ask a few questions sure. before we go any further. Do you have a guest count? Yes, we do, and it's 140. 140, nice size. What about your ceremony? Where are we having this? We are having it at the family church, so... Yeah, very nice formal church. It's big, beautiful. Stained like, glass windows. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love it. I love this. Lucas, who have you enlisted to help you plan this wedding? My best man is Martin. He's going to help me. Me and okay. him are going to be able to handle this easy. Freewheeling bachelors making decisions on behalf of a bride. What could possibly go wrong? Um, I'm thinking you need to have a girl's perspective. Why? Definitely. Like, Janina, my maid of honor, she definitely has to be there. You know what? Yeah. I, I really think you should listen to Margarita here. Sometimes be just fun, having actually. a woman's touch, it is a wedding day. I'm not saying that you can't do no, this. No, I understand. I don't want her, I don't want my fiance to be angry, so I could use, you know, my sister as well. Michelle and Janina will be able to help me. Okay. I think that's a great idea. So. A woman's touch there. Definitely Make sure her number's that. on speed dial so you can get her right away when yeah. you need something. Yeah, Martin's <laughs> number's gonna be on speed dial, <laughs> I no, think. No, Lucina's just... has to be. If we're actually going to plan this wedding, mm -hmm. I need to find out all of the details of the wedding, mm -hmm. which means, Margarita, okay. you're going to leave us now. Oh, no, okay, well. I don't know, I hope it goes well. I wish you guys luck. Thank you. My vision for the wedding is a very uh, natural, whimsical, relaxed atmosphere. First of all, what is your vision? 
Well, I want something very formal. I want a very nice hall. Big centerpieces, you know, uh, chandeliers, curtains, beautiful, elegant, formal. So formal slash traditional. Mm -hmm. How about formal slash formal? Sounds like big slash trouble. Formal slash formal yes. it is then. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, now, have you put any thought into Margarita's dress? Yeah, I, I actually I have because you know it's I've been waiting for this day for a while and I think she's gonna look fantastic. Okay. So I'm looking for something I think she would look awesome in that would be no shoulders. Like I'm not strapless. I don't really, strapless. Yeah, strapless. You know, something from me I guess here yep, that's down. A strapless. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> I don't know, but basically I wanted to. You know, go out like this and long and nice and I mean. So you want to train? You want to train at the back? If that's what you call it. Yeah. Oh my gosh! It just—it really touches me that you're just so excited I about am. this. I am. Sometimes I dream about this. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. So you know exactly what you want for the bride's dress. Is there anything else I should know about? Yes. Actually, I might need your help on this. I want to have a butterfly release for Margarita. Oh, that's so sweet. Really. Like, yeah. why? Like, what's the symbolism behind this? She, well, she loves butterflies, and it's just Aww. a little surprise I want to do for her. I'm going to tell you, this is going to be so romantic. That's what I want it to be. I think we're ready to bring Margarita back. My budget is definitely negotiable. It's definitely not locked in at all. Okay, if I want something, I'm going to pay the extra money. Um, who's paying for the wedding, guys? We are. Yes. That um, and the bank. Ah, what a great way to begin married life. Deep in debt. Okay. Guys, if we're going to plan this wedding, I'm going to need to see a budget. Okay. But this budget, just to let you know, is flexible. What? Yeah. Not even an option. Flexible. Not, 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 not. Will this budget work with the groom's vision, or will it cost him in the end? Okay, guys, now we need to remember that this budget is going to be enhanced with the $5,000 budget boost. And let's hope that this budget will cover all of Lucas's big ideas. It'll, it'll cover, don't worry. We'll maybe even add to that if I want to. No adding, zero. Margarita, I have a surprise for you. I have three ring boxes here, and in each ring box is one element that pertains to the wedding. Okay. So you get to choose one, and then that element you get to plan. Let's see, which one, which one, which one? Take this one. Which one? No, 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 what do you know? This one. Reveal time, one, two, three. Coming up. You'll see when I try it on. You're not trying it on. That, uh, no, that was part of the deal. No, the deal is take that off, we're buying this one, and we're going home. No, I'm gonna hold this hostage till I can try that on. The thing was, my cake looked great, but it tasted horrible. Yeah? Yeah. Because it was, what, carrot cake or something? I don't remember what it was, but it just, it looked good, but it tasted horrible. She likes chocolate, so. It wasn't chocolate. I know it wasn't chocolate. That's why you didn't like it. Right, yes. Margarita will soon be marrying Lucas, and to help defray the costs and receive an extra $5,000, she's chosen to let Lucas take control of the wedding planning. Being in control is something he's relishing, so he's not so keen on giving up one aspect of the celebration to his bride. <gasps> yes! Delicious! No. I got cake! Why? I wanted cake. Lucas, this is final. Margarita gets to plan the cake. It's gonna be good. Lucas may not get his cake and eat it too, but that won't stop him from trying. He has his mind set on a big formal wedding, regardless of what Margarita may like. Will his bride go along for the ride, or will she put the brakes on? I had a venue in mind, but I really wanted to bring my friends Martin and Janina and get their opinion on it. It was going to be the first big decision I had to make, and I didn't want to take any chances. I'm relieved that you knew you needed help. Whoa, I never said I needed help. I'm really worried Luke's going to pick a stuffy venue, like a historical building. What I want is a cocktail-style wedding with cruiser tables, maybe at a butterfly conservatory or a park. Just something really relaxed. So this is Sala Como. Feel free to take a look around, and I'll be back in a few minutes and check on you guys, OK? Hey, Excellent. Thanks. Thank you, Lisa. This wow. is good. Wow. Really Lucas, nice. this looks so good. I like it. I wanted to bring you guys here. Yeah. OK, but here, this is what I want, actually. So let me show you. OK. okay. I'm looking for drapes all over here, mm -hmm. all there, OK? Uh, drapes in the ceiling. I honestly, I even want to take that down. I want to put a nice chandelier. Like, think about it. What? Yeah. Chandelier. A chandelier. Look. Chandelier there. Drapes all around. What do you think? <laughs> Someone, please rein this man in. Get down off oh, the okay. chair. At least I could come she's in here. here. She's not here. She's not here. 
Where do you think you're gonna come up with all this money to drape this entire room, the ceiling, put up chandeliers? I mean, we're having to hire electricians now. Like, this is hours no, upon no, no. hours upon hours. We can do it ourselves. What? Do yeah. What? Heidi's gonna help. Gina's <gasps> gonna help. Uh, Mark's gonna supervise. I don't think so. I'm not no? clear enough. What are you talking about? Do you have any idea how much, you know, First of all, I will have to do on the day of your wedding. Janina is in the wedding party. So we're back to, if this is something you want to do, thousands upon thousands of dollars to cover this room that already looks really nice. Martin, please help me out here. I think it's a very nice haul. You're looking at it the wrong way right now. Like, put some tables up here, and it's gonna look great. Do you like it? I do like it, and we'll talk about the rest of the stuff, but for sure I'm gonna book this room. I think it's formal enough, maybe a few more things will make it put over the top. Okay, but we're not gonna take it over the top budget-wise, right? We'll see. Centerpieces are the most important thing at the wedding, so it brings the whole room together. The larger, the better. Centerpieces are not the most important part. The bride is. Okay, fine. Centerpiece is the second most important thing. Lena, I am so impressed with Lucas right now. Did he choose these colors? This was all Luke. Yeah. This was all you? For sure. But you don't have no faith in me? Oh my gosh, you have such great taste. I mean, this looks incredible. Well, I know Margarita's favorite color is purple, but then I said, you know, purple is just so bland by itself. I said, let's lime it up. Lime it up! That's not the only green you should be worrying about. Uh, but you did give Lena a budget, right? No, I just told her I want to see something really beautiful, something very formal. He didn't give you any budget on this. No, I created two different ones for him because he said, I want to, I want to see my options. Yeah. Okay. So I created something low and modern for him mm -hmm. and then something tall and wow. Well, you know what, before we go any further, why don't we find out how much everything costs? For this entire thing with the, the trio of flowers and the candles, rose petals, mm -hmm. you're looking at a $75 cost. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's it? That's really a good, good That's price. It. Yeah. Now, what about this huge display? Now, this one, including the vase, the crystal, you're looking at $130. That's a lot of money. For 11 tables, we are looking at $14.30 for this. Yeah, that's not that much. This big spender attitude may get you in big trouble. That is not that much? No. Honestly, okay. I, I do like that one better, Lena. OK, what if we could, like, we rent? This vase, Absolutely. so then you just rent it, and then so they just go home with the flower display. Okay, yeah, we could do that too, and then what people have to bring their own food as well. Now that you mention it, that would help keep your costs down. See, sometimes we all get caught up in, you know, because everything yeah. looks so beautiful. I mean, it's Lena, true. you did a phenomenal job Thank here. You. I mean, it looks beautiful, it and you get really caught up in the moment. So maybe, you know, what happens sometimes is if you walk away, you can seriously think about the money that you're spending here. Yeah, maybe I can analyze it a little bit better. And the other person you're marrying. Yeah. Yes. No, I'm, you know what? I'm still gonna think about it. I hope you're, you're proud think of about me. It? A I am bit. very proud yeah? of you. I'm always proud of you when you think about it. Okay. Okay, yeah. we'll look at the numbers and we'll get back to you. Very soon, though. That's great. Okay. okay. I'm really not sure about which centerpiece I should get because I do love the formal one. I love how big it is, but I maybe I should spend a little bit less and get the smaller one. I just don't know right now. I don't like shopping for anything, let alone uh, something as important as a wedding dress. It was my wedding dress. It was for our special day, so it had to have meant something more than just shopping for anything. It was still shopping. What exactly are you looking for? Yeah, well, really nice. okay, what I'm looking for, really nice. Martin, actually, I want a fitted dress, okay? okay? Cinched in, strapless. Look, what about this one? This one's gorgeous. It's nice. I, I do like the little sparkles or these things, but it still doesn't look very fitted here, and it's not, you know, poofing out like I wanted to. Lucas might be in charge of the dress, but who could blame his bride for indulging in a bit of wishful thinking? I'm not gonna lie, I've had sleepless nights thinking about the dress Luke's gonna buy. Mom, look at this one! Oh look at it! This is it's so beautiful. beautiful! The type of dress I would pick is something that's informal, casual, flowy, and whimsical. Oh my gosh, is. that is so gorgeous. I hope Luke picks a dress that looks like this. You're just gonna have to dream. No, I want it. I hope they get a dress like this. I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. I think this one would be amazing. Were you paying attention to what I, I said? I was definitely want? paying attention, but Margarita would love this. This is so her style. How much is okay. that one? This is a price of a... Uh, 75 that's awesome. Yeah, a, you know what this price is for? What is it for? A nightgown where you go to sleep in. Sounds like this dress may never see the light of day. What about this one? Yeah, like, see, like this. This is exactly what I'm thinking. See it? This looks like a, like a ball gown, 
okay? Think about me and her walking down the aisle like this. You know, like... How much is that one compared to the other one? This one is, uh, 1200 That's, so, like, double the price. That's a pretty reasonable this price. This actually... That's really very inexpensive, price. okay? Why don't you try it on? Yeah, good idea. You have to try it on. Okay, how about this? I will try it on if I can try on the other dress and you can at least consider it. That's fine, you know, whatever. You can go waste time if you want. Nothing like keeping an open mind, Lucas. Okay, wow. that. that looks amazing. Janina, thanks for trying it on. It looks You're beautiful. Welcome. I can't believe it. Great. Have you ever tried walking in one of these dresses? I'm not gonna be doing the walking, so. Yeah, exactly, I'm thinking about Margarita here, which you seem to not be thinking about at all. I'm thinking she wants a beautiful wedding <laughs> she like does. this. Okay, well, this dress is really difficult, but it's beautiful. What does it mean difficult? Is it talking back to you? Oh. No, it's just really heavy. What do you think? I think it's, it's a perfect. nice dress. It's a very nice, nice dress. Nice? This is the kind of dress they wear on the little figurines on top of cakes, okay? No, that's Do you for sure. want your bride to look like a figurine? I want my bride to be, look very formal and elegant and beautiful. And this is the dress that's gonna that make it look like that. That dress is also formal and elegant and beautiful. What a coincidence. Oh, what a coincidence. It's not. You'll see when I try it on. You're not trying it on. Yeah, uh, no, that was part of the deal. No, the deal is take that off. We're buying this one mm, and we're going home. No, I'm gonna hold this hostage till I can try that on. Just no, let me try it. Yeah. Okay, fine, fine, right. take it. Difficult. Thank you. Go. We'll see, we'll see, right. but you, you like the first one. I'm not gonna like it. Don't be so hasty, Lucas. At least look at the other option. It's actually it's pretty. You look it's pretty. Not bad, Beautiful. No, but you don't hate it. Wow. Oh, so change. I was right. Oh, okay. You know, I'm a man, I'll apologize. Okay, you know? thank you. All right. That's good. I don't know what to do now because honestly, that's not a bad looking dress. This dress is so much more comfortable than the is other it? one. The other one is like carrying around another person all day. What do you guys like better? I like this one better. Personally, I like the other one better. I don't know, man. The Martin, gut, help gut, me out. Come on. gut feeling on this one. I like both now. <laughs> Sleep on don't it. Don't buy it tonight. Yeah. Yeah, take it okay. off. Let's go home. Cool. All right. Flip a coin. <laughs> That's a good idea. There's so much pressure in picking Margarita's wedding dress, okay? I don't know what to do with it. It's supposed to be perfect. It's only one day she gets married, and it has to look beautiful. Coming up. We always have to remember your budget. And you and how your much budget, money Heidi. You it's your budget. Why yeah, did you say it? But you keep reminding me about it. You know, there's always one person in the marriage that's like. Yeah, that's not us. Really comes down hard on it. Yeah. Um, uh, we're both the youngest. Birth order has everything to do with it. Money was like, okay. Okay. All right. Our take control groom, Lucas, has made headway in the planning of his wedding to his bride, Margarita. He wants a classic formal event, regardless of what he suspects his bride may like. But his blatant disregard of expenses may be his biggest undoing. This is the kind of dress they wear on the little figurines on top of cakes, okay? Do you sure. want your bride to look like a figurine? I want my bride to be, look very formal and elegant and beautiful. And this is the dress that's gonna that make it look like that. That's also formal and elegant and beautiful. What a coincidence. Oh, what a coincidence. It's not. Will his focused vision create an affair to remember? Or will his headstrong ways work against him and bust his budget? I wanted to do something really special for Margarita that was just for her. I knew exactly what I wanted to do, but I had no idea how much it would actually cost. Why is it that you're so concerned about cost when it's specifically for me? Since when do you care about cost? You're always on me about being cost effective. I thought I would try it out for a day and see how it fit. With Luke having full reins and full control over planning the wedding, there's the high chance possibility that he is going to not do creative things and it's going to be a traditional boring wedding. And that's the last thing that I want for our wedding. Hi, Skiv. Hey. It's hey, so great to you? meet you. Good Thank you for you. coming today. Yes, this sure. is our groom, Lucas, yeah. and Good his sister you. and best man, Ma Good Michelle you. and Martin. You have no idea how excited Lucas is to see these ah, butterflies because wonderful. he wants to do this surprise release like yes. after the ceremony for Margarita. Yes. Beautiful. Well, we've brought two different butterflies here today. We have the painted lady. Can I see that? Yes, you certainly can. Wow. Oh, that's it's awesome. a uh, beautiful butterfly. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. It really is, isn't it? Yeah. It is a, uh... oh, what about this one here? This is ah, nice the and monarch. Big. Yes, the yeah. monarch is the monarch. I think is probably the most popular. Yeah, this one's awesome. It is a little more expensive. This course, is beautiful. But, uh, I do like this one. What are the prices of these butterflies? Uh, Painted ladies are six eighty-five, and monarchs are ten forty-one each. Like, we were just thinking, you know, like, maybe, like, a dozen or yes. so, right? Yes, no. yeah. yes, yes. One for every guess, no? No, maybe two, even. Two. Two, two yes. dozen? Yes. Wait two for two sure. Right one there. for each hand. For 140 guests, that's an expensive swarm of flying insects. Do you remember what Skip said, how much What was the cost? price again? $10.41 uh, per butterfly. $10.41. Oh, wow. Per butterfly. Guess how yeah. much that is for 140 guests? 
1440. 1440. Wow. $1,440. Obviously, we're just joking around with the 240, but I mean, uh, you know, 140 for sure. Yeah. I don't want to leave some guests, you know, with leaving, oh, how come I didn't get one and so on. I wouldn't worry about insect envy. I brought in a few. Yeah. Each oh, one comes in its this. own individual box. I'll give you those and you can okay. hand them out. Yeah, just open her up. Oh, oh, oh. there it goes, there it goes. <laughs> okay, you do yours now, okay? Okay. Oh, oh there you oh. go. There see, goes. see, money just flying away. We always have to remember your budget and Doing how much budget, money you have. <laughs> it's your budget. Why yeah, do you keep? But you it? keep reminding me about it. That's because you've set a budget, and by getting one for every guest, you have blown this you know budget. What? You only live once, and I only get married once, so why not? Well, at least that's the plan. I just don't think you need that many butterflies. That's a lot of money. Well, how many do you think I should get? With the monarchs, they're so big, I think you should get like two dozen or so. That should be enough. Two Three dozen? dozen tops? We have a package for 24 for $250. That's a good number. Let's just get two dozen. I do like that idea for the do two dozen, for sure. So 24 yeah. butterflies, we're looking at $250, and it's going to be, I mean, it will be breathtaking. Uh -oh. And Margarita will love it. And Margarita yeah. will love it. For sure, I think it yeah. still will look very nice. Mm -hmm. So. You're giving up the idea of 141 per guest, right? I think it's a great idea. Right? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. I, Skip. I, <laughs> I was really excited when I got to plan one thing for the wedding, and that one thing was wedding cake. I brought along my bridesmaids, Leah and Christina, to the consultation. I had many great ideas to share with the baker. You know what? You shouldn't have planned anything at all. It was one thing I got to plan, and you're trying to take it away from me now? Come on. So, you're getting married? Yes. Let I me know am. your vision for your wedding cake. Okay, I want three tiers. The entire cake will be white. Okay. And then to add the color, I've purchased these butterflies, right. which I would like cascading from one side to the other, kind of like in a rainbow. A rainbow? Yeah. Okay, so for a wedding cake, um, traditionally speaking, okay. it kind of looks like this. Yep. That's traditional. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have a focal point with the butterflies in the front. Mm -hmm. It is a lot of butterflies if you want to use all of them on this size cake. Okay. So like a few here, like maybe some pink yeah, ones, or no. some yellow ones and blue ones. No, we're using all of them. I didn't spend $75 to just use a few. I would have only bought a few. Sometimes, Margarita, less is more. You have five different colors. Get five tiers. Yeah, that's a great idea. Five tiers. What, At least one color, give her a little bit yeah. of space no, 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 to do no, no, no. something creative with your cake. I know it's gonna look good. So how much would this three tier cost? This one you're looking at about three hundred dollars. That's perfect. Plus the seventy five I spent on the butterflies. Wait a second. Back up a minute. How much did Luke actually give you to buy the cake? He gave me seven hundred dollars. That is my budget. I have seven hundred. Are you kidding me? Oh. You only want to spend three hundred dollars, oh. and you have seven hundred to spend. Maybe you should focus on cutting the cake, not cutting costs. I don't want to spend the whole seven hundred because I want to keep some for myself to spend it on other things. I don't know what. Maybe like an emergency fund, something screws oh, up, please. you know, on the day of. This is the only thing you've been able to buy this entire time. Don't you want it to be like spectacular? You guys can't see it, trust me. Okay, think think of this cake. Cluttered is what comes to mind. <laughs> Cheap is what comes to mind. What's the price if we added another two tiers? Adding another two tiers, you're looking at maybe about 700. No, oh, that's perfect. 700. I can't. That's exactly your budget. That's what you Who have. Who gave you 700? No, I can't. I can't sleep at night if I'm going to spend 700 dollars on a cake. You're 75 dollars over your budget. That's right. Really? If you want to spend less money, we can double the layers. Okay. So picture it's still the three tiers, but then we are doubling it. So that's here. So you're going to be double here, and yeah. So you're going about that high. Okay. Does that, that work? How much is that? That one's about 500. Perfect. Okay, there, you can sleep at night. You have an extra $200. Yeah. And then we can use all the butterflies. Perfect. That's perfect. If I had any say, it's done, <laughs> done, done, and done. Do you think that Luke will like that? I don't think she needs to worry. This couple's themes are meshing perfectly. Hold well, on a second. It doesn't matter happening. what Luke thinks. I this know. This is the only thing that's yeah, yours. Yeah, what the heck? I'm you spending the money. Yeah. Be a little bit enthusiastic about it. <laughs> I guess, whatever. <laughs> I get to save some money, not all. I wanted all eyes on us when we walked into the reception for the first time as a married couple. So I took Janina, Martin, and Heidi to check out my idea for the grand entrance. You love the spotlight. Of course I do. It's where I belong. Psst. I'm excited for this demo you set up for us, Abby. Should be fun. Yeah. Okay, but what is the demo? Oh, bubble demo. 
Bubbles? bubbles? Yeah, bubbles. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love this for the grand entrance. Yes. This is so cool. So are we gonna are we gonna see the bubbles? Yeah, I'm gonna turn them on for you guys. Go ahead. Well, I suppose it isn't enough for Lucas to only blow up the budget. Oh, wow, that's oh pretty. Oh my gosh, look at these bubbles. Uh, that one there is $30 per day. The fluid is $37 a gallon. Oh my god, they're so cute! <laughs> sort of a, a curtain effect. That's all right, not bad. Let's see the big one. Yeah, let's see the big one. Maybe that one's better. It says Bubble Monster, so it should be really good, I think. Oh my gosh. I think this one's gonna be pretty big. These are, these are really that's cool. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, no. these look, you bubbles your, you your face are in it, amazing. Look, 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 look. Awesome. I almost hate to ask how much this one is because they're so big. How much is this one? It's $100 per day and it takes a different fluid, so it's $80 per gallon. Okay, so now we've gone up to $180 just for this machine when we had $30 a machine for the other one. Yeah, but look one. how much better it is. I hate to burst your monster bubble, Lucas, but that's beyond your budget. Come on, gonna love it. You gotta spend a couple more dollars to get something okay. this good, right? Can we see the other one now? What do you think about this one, Janina? I like it. Yeah? Oh my god. Oh, I like that one. This one's got a lot of bubbles. <gasps> wow. And they're faster. They're go far. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How much does this one cost? $100 a day as well, but it takes the same fluid as the other, so $37. So, so the 37 Yeah. That sounds great. So this one's 137 that's right. Okay. Do you have one that's in between? What See do you the... mean in between? Well, because that one's got nice big bubbles. That one's got little bubbles. Yeah. Why don't you do both? Okay, okay. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Then you Hold it. on a second. No, here. no, no. I, want, I think you're on the right track. You would go over budget if you got both of these. If this is like a two in one machine, that's what I want. Okay, but it doesn't have a two in one price. Just get the small ones. You get the same look. Like, there's no need for the two huge monster. But it's their masters. entrance. People yeah. are going to remember it and they're going to talk about it. Exactly. Everybody's going to talk about it. What you've kind of done over and over again is you've kind of gone a little over here, a little over there, and you're like, Heidi, oh, well, we'll cut somewhere there. We'll cut somewhere there. I have never seen you cut anything. That makes you a lot over in the. Yeah, end. but you only get married once. Are you definitely getting both? 100%. I'm going to get both. Okay. Um, Abby, apparently. Currently, we're getting both bubble machines. Excellent. Are you happy? Very happy. Okay, I don't know if your bottom line is, though. Coming up. Did you, like, forget to carry around a calculator when you went to do this stuff to oh. make sure? Like... I don't need a calculator, okay? I'm smart. I floated down the aisle. I saw Tim at the end, and he had the look. You know, they say that you know it's right, not so much by watching the bride, by watching the look on the groom's face. And he had the look. I had friends who were watching, so I know. She has spies. Bride Margarita has surrendered all planning of her wedding day to her groom, Lucas. He's reveling in the control and has immediately decided on some big ticket items for the grand formal wedding he envisioned. This may not go over so well with Margarita, who's leaning toward a simple chic celebration, but that's the risk she took to get an additional $5,000. I don't want to spend the whole 700 because I want to keep some for myself to spend it on other things. I don't know what. Maybe like an emergency fund, something screws oh, up for you. Know, but Margarita, dance. this is the only thing you've been able to buy this entire time. Will Lucas's disregard for any consequences cause huge problems for the budget? Will his opinionated decisions displease his bride or make her delighted? Because Luke picked out my dress, I was beyond stressed out when Heidi took me to get pulled and pinned. I can't believe you wouldn't trust me. My fantastic taste, you know it had to be a great dress. I knew you would have picked something that you think's fantastic, but would I have thought it was fantastic? I don't think so. Okay, now of course we're here to have your alterations done. You have the fabulous dress on that Lucas has picked for you. Now, since you've been so amazing, at letting Lucas plan the wedding for the $5,000 budget boost, you get two options today. The first option is I will take the blindfold off and you get to see the dress. Mm -hmm. The second option is if you choose not to see the dress, you can't see it till the day of the wedding. Well, definitely we have to take the blindfold off. I yes, want to see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. You want to see it? Yes, what does okay. it look like? Are you ready? Yep. Here we go. Deep breath, Margarita. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, this is definitely something that Luke would pick. Yes. Yeah, not what I would pick. It's a lot of dress. Yeah, there's a lot of dress. As you can see, there's even, like, a huge train. It's, wow. Hmm. Yeah, 
I really like it. Really? You like yeah. it? Yeah. Johnny, it, it does. So but, you know, it, yeah, definitely something he would pick, definitely. Yes. Yeah, it's Lucas. I love the material, the shine to it, the pickups. The what do you guys think? It's yes. sophisticated, it's, it's classy. It's just beautiful. I really like it. Definitely a beautiful dress, mm -hmm. definitely. Well, it looks like Margarita is coming around. So is it a winner? It is. Did Luke do well? He did. He did an excellent job. <laughs> really? Yeah. Excellent So job. you love it? I do. We're not going to be concerned with what Lucas spent on it? Not at all. OK, perfect. Well, we need to have it altered now, OK? OK. okay Donna, she loves the dress. I wasn't thrilled to be meeting with Heidi in regards to the budget, knowing Margarita would get to hear the bits and pieces about my spending. I knew she would overanalyze it. Oh, please. How could I not wonder what all those numbers were about? A, I was trying to figure out how much you were spending, and B, what our wedding would look like. I called you both here today because I wanted to discuss with you exactly what you've spent on this wedding. Now, just to remind you of the rules, Margarita, you've given up complete control of complete. planning this wedding to Lucas right. for the $5,000 budget boost. Mm -hmm. Now, Lucas, we're going to talk about decor, flowers, and centerpieces. Yeah. Of course, a definite must for every wedding. For sure. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Lucas, sweetheart, you have gone over budget. I only went over a little bit, okay? Th no, that's that's unacceptable. Okay, it's gonna look beautiful. Not cool. Heidi, Not next cool. item. Yes, move along. Nothing to see here. We're gonna talk about your grand entrance. Lucas, of course, wanted to plan something very special for yep. your grand entrance. I did. And by doing so, he has gone over budget. Again. Yeah, it's a grand entrance. It's not called a but, minor entrance, okay? Yeah, but, or under budget entrance. It's called a grand entrance. This is what I keep trying to tell you, Lucas. When you sit down and we start going through every single detail, the same words keep coming out of my mouth. Over budget, over budget, over budget. By a little bit. Remember, add that part in. But, no, but that no. adds up. Exactly. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. you are very over budget. Did you, like, forget to carry around a calculator when you went to do this stuff to oh, make yeah. sure? Like... I don't need a calculator, okay? I'm smart. So what does big debt plus one unhappy bride add up to? I'd like to Is talk about... Yeah, there's more. There has been a secret surprise that has been surprise. planned for you. Okay. Yes. And... A surprise? Yes. Lucas, I think you know what I'm going to say. Under budget? You are uh... over budget. Over budget! Dude, I could have spent even more money, okay, because I want your reaction. Okay. I'm giving you a reaction. Yeah, but you'll forget about this conversation on the wedding day. I don't know. You won't even be thinking about money. You'll be thinking about how awesome everything is. As we all know, Margarita was given one item to plan. That's right. One item. The cake, yes. yes. There was a budget of $700. Yeah. Margarita, you are under budget. That's right. You heard that under budget. How can you go under budget on a cake? Cake's an important thing. What is this, a one-tier cake? No, it's actually three tiers, and it's beautiful. You will love it. I don't think I will. I love it, so you will love it. If we add maybe a couple more tiers. It's a perfect amount of tiers. Lucas, you have the opportunity right now to actually cut something. So I'm not cutting anything. But right now, like... No. OK, let's... Your no. budget, you are so over here. I'm not changing anything. Your logic <laughs> is just astounding. It's my to wedding, me. my logic, really right? Is. So, I'm not, I'm not changing anything, Heidi. Sorry. You're not changing anything. No. Nope. Okay. Coming up. I just don't know what's gonna happen today. I don't know anything. You know, so I let know. me go. I know, but I'm not telling you. Oh. The hard part was trying to compose ourselves, both of us because the uh, <laughs> minister had a great big hair sticking out of his nose, <laughs> yeah, and we both wanted to go and pull it out. It was about two inches long. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas and Margarita's big day is finally here. Although Lucas's opinion was never humble, he had his heart in the right place and tried his best to create the perfect day for his bride. But will his grand ideas go over well or get some grief from Margarita? You know, I could have spent even more money. OK, because I want your reaction. I'm giving you a reaction. Yeah, but you'll forget about this conversation on the wedding day. I don't know. You won't Heidi. even be thinking about money. You'll be thinking about how awesome everything is. The extra $5,000 budget boost was a bonus. But did the planning trade-off actually pay off? The morning of the wedding was a bit nerve-wracking for me. It was the most important day of our lives. And if Margarita did not like what I planned, well, let's just say the pressure was on. <laughs> 
I love how you were Mr. I got this, you don't gotta worry, I know how to plan the wedding. And then it hit you on the morning of that you may have been overconfident. Hey, are you nervous? I am. Yeah, you kind, you kind of seem a little quiet and a little nervous. I am. I just don't know what's gonna happen today. I don't know anything. You know, so I know. You know. I know, but I'm not telling you. Oh, I still have to wait. Oh my well, gosh. Well, you know what? Your dress is beautiful. Yes. So hopefully that will ease your mind That's just true. a little. Yeah. But you know what? You're going to see everything soon. Yes. Are you ready? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm just so nervous right now. How do you think Margarita's feeling? Margarita? Oh, she's having a blast. She's excited, probably. I guarantee you that. Well, isn't someone feeling overconfident? Okay. Wow! <laughs> I think the rest of the day, if it goes like this, we're gonna have a fabulous day. We actually have to get you out of this chair okay. and get you home to get you dressed, Yay. right? Yeah. With the ceremony only moments away, all that's left are our bride's final touches. But will her dress be well received by the wedding party? Thank you, Heidi. You look amazing. Thank you. You look so amazing. <laughs> okay, are you ready to see the girls? I am. Okay. Girls, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh my oh god. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't need to talk while you guys are doing the talking. <laughs> you think that Luke could have pulled no. this off? No way. no way. Seems like our bride is blushing for all the right reasons. Apparently Luke is your hero. Oh, I know. Okay, I'm gonna go get your flower. Okay, okay. Oh my god, there's a butterfly! Oh, there's a butterfly. Oh. And there is a, a note. note! Yes. Something blue that's totally you. Oh. <laughs> it is time to go. Margarita, you have to get married. Yeah. Let's not keep our groom in suspense. Hey, Luke. Hey, Heidi, how are you? I'm so good, how are you? I'm a little nervous. What's Margarita saying about everything? You need to tell me. Oh, my gosh, Luke. Okay, everything is absolutely fantastic over here. Her dress, like the whole look. Luke, I am telling you, she looks spectacular. I am so proud of you right now. Thank you. I'm, I'm proud of myself. I think I. You know, I deserve to pat myself on the back a little bit, too, no? She is so excited at this point to see everything else that you planned. Good. Awesome. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to run now because i got to get to the ceremony myself. Okay, great. I'll see you there, then. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Oh, thank goodness. When I saw Luke for the first time at the wedding, I knew it was going to be a great day no matter what. I felt really grateful for all the hard work you put in. Once I saw Margarita, my worries went away. It was a great moment and she looked beautiful. I, Luke. I, Luke. Take you, Margarita. Take you, Margarita. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Margarita. I, Margarita. Take you, Luke. Take you, Luke. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. So now. Okay, we have another surprise for you. All right. After I count to three, I'm going to say a special word, and you're going to release the box. Okay. Ready? One. Two. Three. Oh Oh my god! Oh, hey, hey, hey! The butterflies were amazing. I love butterflies. They're totally my thing. I think I'm going to order them for all my future anniversaries to keep you happy. Really? Ooh. Coming up. Well, Lucas, are you nervous for her to see this? No. No? I'm confident she's going to like everything yeah. I did. Are yeah. you that confident? That confident. Really? So. I would never trust John to plan a dinner. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> hey, to plan a wedding, uh, you know what? No, sorry. I'm the planner. Our bride and groom are now joined in matrimony, and it seems Lucas has succeeded in pampering Margarita with a few romantic touches so far. But his opulent formal reception could be too rich for his bride's blood, as well as their budget. Did any of you think that Luke could have pulled no. this off? No. 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 Apparently, Luke 
Luke is your hero. Oh, I know. Okay. Will Lucas be able to soften his pride with his spending spree? Or will the financial reality make Margarita regret her decision to let her groom run wild? Finally, it was time for Margarita to see everything I planned for the rest of the wedding. I was so excited to see if she would love what I had created for her. I think you were more excited than I was. I loved how enthusiastic you were to show me all your ideas and handiwork. I loved everything so far, and I couldn't wait to see the rest. Margarita, are you excited? I'm super excited, are Heidi. Are you nervous? I'm nervous, too, because I don't know what to expect. Well, Lucas, are you nervous for her to see this? No. No? I'm confident she's going to like everything yeah. I did. Are yeah. you that confident? That confident. Really? So, oh. Just wait, just wait. Did you check if everything's good? It is so great. Is it? OK. Yeah, then yeah. If, that, if Heidi says so, we can go in. OK. The moment of truth has arrived. Will Lucas be able to live up to his lavish hype? Take a look. What do you think? Wow. The centerpiece is beautiful. They're so big. They're gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, And they it's are. your colors yeah. and everything. Did you, you pick this? I, well, yeah. Where did you get the idea from? Uh, this no is just way. what I wanted. And no I know way. that's what you would have wanted. You wanted Grand and formal. Oh, it's beautiful. Is it? Yes. Good, Good. pick. Everything's so Don't beautiful. Don't cry. You're going to okay. make up run. Okay. <laughs> now, Margarita, you have a surprise for Lucas. Yes, I do. You, you do? Your dress. Yes. Oh, yeah, the cake. That's Take right. It's right up front. It's right up front. It was delivered. All right, let's see this cake. It's gorgeous. It is. Look, look how big it is. Didn't she Wedding? do a great job? No, it looks, it looks awesome. I love the colors. I love everything. I, I Honestly, I was thinking the cake's going to be like not even half the size of this. This is almost like a six layer because these layers are so thick. No matter how you slice it, the cake was a success. Did Lucas do a good job? You rocked the wedding planning job. <laughs> you know what? Listen, listen. I'm quitting my job, OK? Yes. And me and Heidi are going to business. Really? I'll be like an assistant, oh, Heidi's assistant wow. or something. Whoa, no, Heidi? but. No, OK, fine, you know what? No. You know what, Lucas? I will give it to you here that you did a good job. Why don't we leave it there? Why? <laughs> Guys, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> It was so fantastic. Like, do I know how to plan a wedding or what? I have to give it to you. The surprises were out of this world. The butterflies, the bubbles, they rocked. Well, you know what? That's just how I do it, because I love you, you, babe. Love you, too. Lucas may have won Margarita over, but at what cost? Did he blow the roof off the bank or keep a lid on it? The budget we gave Heidi was $25,000. Adding the budget boost to $5,000 brings us to a total budget of $30,000. The bubbles for the grand entrance were awesome. The two machines and a special solution cost me $317. I really liked how my butterfly cake turned out with the double tiers. The cost was $575. Margarita looked like a princess in that wedding dress. I really loved the way she looked. It was made for her. With accessories, it came to $1,475. Heidi did her best at keeping Luke on track, which is never easy. Her fee was $2,500. All of the decor and centerpieces came together, and the room looked really classy and formal, just how I wanted. Everything in it came to $3,370. The venue, including food and alcohol, was $17,788. Miscellaneous charges, including the butterfly release, Marguerite's hair extensions, and photography, came to $8,174. Our total spending for the wedding was $34,199, which means with the budget boost, we came in over budget, over by $4,199. That's pretty close to coming under budget. Babe, how do you figure with the 5,000 budget boost, we still went over, so we spent more money than we were supposed to, way more. Yeah, but you liked the wedding, didn't you? I did, but it didn't mean you had to spend that much more. Well, can't do anything now. Oh, gosh, no, I have to control the money. The butterflies have taken flight. The drinks have been downed, and the dance floor has been put to good use. The only question left is, were the guests blown away by the reception? I liked it. It was, I think, a carrot cake, I believe. No, not even close. No? No. Was I there that day? <laughs> yeah, you were. The day of our wedding, I probably spent about five hours on my hair, and I look at the picture today, and I'm, I'm just like, my god. I did a terrible job. Your hair looked great. Oh, it did not. It did. It looked good. Well, it did. <laughs>